Hey guys. Wait. Mohammed. No, we're gonna start like an intro. Are we really doing this? We have to do an intro. We're just gonna be like, so this is how we met. We have to be like. Hey guys, all that. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't clicked the subscribe button down below, please do so. Yeah, I'll do that. Seriously. After the tone. Beep. What am I saying? How do I start it? You have more to say on that because you kind of were softening me a little bit. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to. Salam, guys. Oh, we're doing that. <laughs> All right. Salam, everybody. Salam, guys. Welcome to our How We Met slash Marriage video. You guys have been requesting on my Instagram how we've met, and I know I can't really get back to all of you guys, so I'm like, this is the best way to do this. Yeah, we're gonna cover all the important details on how Noha got so lucky to get stuck with me for the Definitely, rest of her life. That's what we're covering. So make sure you stay tuned. And just a quick disclaimer for all you guys our story may not apply to your situation. You know, your situation has its own problems and you know solutions so you know please don't just think it's going to be you know x y and z everyone has their own situation everyone has their own problems so we're just sharing our story and we hope it can you know be beneficial for you guys just because you guys have all been wondering how Noah got stuck with me for all these years so <laughs> definitely so uh, the way Noah and I actually met we actually met when I was in high school. I was a senior in high school. I was 18 years old. Uh, I actually went to Detroit. They had a convention there at ISNA. And I had a mutual friend introduce me um, from Tampa, uh, Rima Hamui. Shout out to Shout out to Rima, Rima Hamui. Uh, she introduced me to Noha, and as she also introduced Noha to a bunch of the other guys. And uh, so, you know, I spoke to Noha. I thought she was beautiful. But I was obviously 18. I wasn't looking to get married at that time. And so, very basic conversation. Added her on Facebook. And that is pretty much my side of the story on how we met. So, same for me. Like, we met at Isna. Um, I just saw Rima Hamwi and Hanan. And then, like, they were with some Tampa people. So, he was one of them. And we had, like, a very brief, like, 15-minute, I don't know, conversation. And I thought he was cute, but that's about it. Like, he added me on Facebook and I never thought anything of it. So, I'm gonna just uh, talk to you guys about kind of our mindset in those three years in between when we actually started talking after I first met her at ISNA. So, obviously, I added her on Facebook. You know, I wasn't sending any messages to her or doing anything. I was doing my own thing. I was studying accounting. I was working here in Tampa and studying in college. But I was keeping my eyes on her, you know, on Facebook. You know, just keep my eyes on her, seeing what she's up to. I think I had an Instagram at the time. and uh, But I would never like her photos because that's, you know, it's it's too obvious that way. So, and also I wouldn't like a girl's photos anyway at that time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I would, I would see her stuff. But then I, like, two years passed and I posted, like, this really cute baby picture of me. And then, uh, you know, Noha also, she never liked my stuff. So I was like, okay, like, my chances are probably really low, right? And then all of a sudden, like, she likes my baby picture. I'm like, hell yes. I messaged my friend Zaid. I was like, look, she liked my picture. Um, I was like, I have a chance, maybe. You never know. That type of, that type of mentality. Uh, but I didn't really do anything about it. I was still young at the time. So... You know, I was working on myself, I was trying to develop myself as well, and that's kind of where I was at in between, you know, us before we started talking. How about you? Same. I mean, like, I, talking about liking pictures, I never uh, also liked guys' pictures that were, like, alone, just so, because I was Mashallah. single. I was single and I was worried that maybe they would think I'm interested if I'm liking a selfie of them or a yep. specific, but if they're in a group picture, She's right. whatever, then I would be like, whatever, it's fine. So I wouldn't like any of his photos and I would see them like him in Boston with his arms wide up and all this random stuff But I would see them, but I just wouldn't like them But when it was a baby picture, I'm like this is innocent and it was very very Finally. cute. So I liked it. Point is um, 
I've talked to a couple guys, some guys were interested in me during those times. Um, none of them worked out, alhamdulillah, because I got Ryan. <laughs> and um, yeah, like it was just, I was never actively looking to get married and oh my god, I need to get married. I was actually very chill about it. I just wanted to travel the world and I'm like, when marriage comes, I'll come if it's good for me, whenever. I'd rather get married later to the right guy. So yeah, just fast forward three years. Yeah, I, I've. I felt the same way. I wasn't actively looking, but I, I truly was someone who did want to get married young, but I wasn't actively looking like I need to get married now. I was, you know, looking to develop myself. Obviously, a lot of the things I saw from Noah's profile online is what I liked. Like, I love traveling. I love having fun, but also I love, like, having someone who has a very grounded Islamic mentality who believes in the same values that I have. But... You never know with online, these people could just be, you know, psyching me out. So I never knew if Noha was legitimate or not. So that was always like, ah, oh, she puts out this like, you know, nice personality, but who knows what she's actually like. She could be like a spoiled brat, you I know really what I mean? Be, yeah. <laughs> so that was kind of my mentality. How I actually, you know, started speaking to Noha or why I even reached out, you know, as time progressed, I kept seeing Naha's posts and I was like, man, this girl's pretty, she's pretty cool, honestly. She's really awesome. She's beautiful. I love everything she stands for, but I don't know her at all, right? So, you don't, I don't know her. There you go. <laughs> Shout out to Tate Z the Boost for that joke. I love that you joke. You guys get it? I don't know her. Huh? They get it. They get know it. Know her. Okay. okay. So, uh, so basically, you know, I was like stalking her Instagram, right? And I see a picture of like her posting in Tampa, Florida, where I'm from. And My I'm like, sister lives here. holy crap, she's in Tampa, like jump on it, you know what I mean? So I told my, my dad, uh, cause my parents are kind of asking me like, you have anyone interested in? Oh yeah, this is another thing. They were asking me, do you have anyone that you're interested in? I was like, no, not really, honestly, I'm not. Uh, but if there would be one girl, it would be this girl. And I would show them like her Instagram, you know? <laughs> So I saw a photo of her in Tampa, and then I wanted to jump on it, obviously. So I talked to my dad. He talked to one of their family friends. You know, it didn't it didn't work out. I, I don't. I can't remember. You forgot how. to tell me because I traveled to Miami, and he's like, one of her family friends. So it's it's their fault. So anyway, so uh, I was getting I was going to actually Boston in January of 2019 for an accounting internship, and basically living by yourself, you become a lot more serious, uh, and you start looking at your life long term and things that you want in your life and how to better yourself so you know i was thinking you know what this would probably be a good time what's the worst that can happen if i reach out to noha i never ever wanted to uh send her a dm because i knew that like she has 32,000 followers she probably gets them all the time she still gets them thank you guys so much for sending her all those dms all those guys <laughs> you really don't get it do you uh, I didn't want to be that guy that would come across the DMs. I wanted to go through her family. I wanted to go the right way because I do believe that Allah does bless the marriage if it's done in the right way. And I, I really wanted that for myself and, you know, for my wife as well, right? So, I, uh, the, way, the way I did it was she, her sister is actually married to someone I play basketball with. So, you know, he's someone I, I didn't even know that they were related somehow. So, you know, he's someone I'm comfortable with. So I reached out to him and I was like, hey, you know, I would be interested in talking to Noha to get to know her more, get to know her more. <laughs> and yeah, pretty much uh, he talked to his wife, which is Noha's sister. sister. And uh, I'll let Noha talk the rest from her side. But yeah, I just wanted to reach out in January. So this is January 2017. Um, 2017. Yeah. yeah. Me and Manel, um, Manel is my cousin. We decided to do a last minute trip to Dubai for like a week. So I was there. I was like very happy in my life. Alhamdulillah. Like didn't need sure. anyone to bring me down or anything. And I was like out of the blue. My sister FaceTimes me. I'm sitting with my cousins um, at their apartment. And they're like, and we're just like, nah, like do you know a guy named Ryan? I'm like, Ryan? Who is this white Who's this guy? white boy? Like, what do you mean Ryan? I don't know Ryan. Um, keep in mind, I did know Ryan. I just didn't think even of his name, but I would see him play basketball with my brother-in-law. 
like for the longest time and I always was like, okay, he's cute. Like I'd even tell my friends when I would be sitting or new in my Razan or anyone, I'd tell them like, hey, like that guy's cute. And when he'd play against my brother-in-law, I would be like, it's okay, the cute guy's winning. Like that's what I, that's what his name was, cute guy. Like I was interested in the way he looked. Like that's what I, that's what I thought. And there, Thank there was like, God. there was like 50 guys in the room and I just had my eye on him, but I didn't think anything of it. I was like, not going to happen, whatever. Anyways, um, my sister FaceTimes me and then I'm like, Ryan. So I'm starting to think, is this the Ryan that I think of, that I'm thinking about, you know? So. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, so pretty much, Nuda's like, no, I just, ch just check him out. And I'm like, by the way, I'm in the room with all my family. She ends the FaceTime. I go on Facebook. I'm like, Ryan. I'm like, oh, like Ryan and Falah. Like, He's that cute guy that, that I saw cute playing guy. ball. Exactly. Damn, I didn't even know um, you were watching me. Yeah, I was. You had the red shorts and the bright yellow shoes. I will show you guys. Always oh. got to stand out, guys. Yeah, I don't like them, but <laughs> I, I found them easily in the crowd. Anyways, so she fa she FaceTimed me again. She's like, Noha, you know, he's interested and he lives in Tampa. Please, like, look Give into it. Shot, and I'm like, like Nuhud, wait. This guy is, like, two years younger than me. And she's like, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Just, like, look into it. Um, but what it's like, yeah, man, he lives in Tampa. We don't know what, like, we've only heard good things about him. You know, he's this, this, that. They kind of explain a little bit about him. And I was like, no, no, no. Low key, I was like, oh, that's that cute guy. But I'm like, no, like, he's younger than me. Like, of course not. So point is, I kept interjecting. I kept interjecting. I kept interjecting. Nur Hamid, my sister's like, no, huh? Like, that's so messed up, messed up of you to reject just because of his age. Like, if you want to say no, like, I have no good reason to tell him no. So here's his number. You tell him no yourself. And I was like, Man, like this is harder to tell him though. So I want, uh, I want to also say, I also thought about like the age thing, right? She was, she's, she's basically two years older than me, right? So I was like, well, this isn't gonna work out if she thinks that like she's like some super genius and knows everything, and I'm just a little white boy who doesn't know what he's talking about and who's like immature and be like, Habibi, come here, let me teach you about life, right? So. Obviously that wouldn't work out. So all of this was like going through my head, but I just needed to know I did needed to get to know her, right? So that's why I reached out. I also thought about the age thing as he well. Had that, just yeah. wanted to put that disclaimer out. But there. he had already gotten over the age thing. I was still like, what? There's guys older than me that can't handle a re relationship, that's how you say it. Yeah. <laughs> There's guys older than me that can't handle a relationship. And what is a guy younger than me gonna do? Like he's obviously gonna be immature. So um, we talked throughout that week, and while I was in Dubai, there's a time difference. Ryan was at his Boston internship. Um, I was like trying to text him, but I was also like wanting to tell him, "Hey, I, I'm pretty much telling you like thanks for reaching out. I wish you the best, but I don't think this age thing is gonna work out." But because I felt bad doing that over text, I'm like, "Wait till we call. We could have talked for the whole. We couldn't like phone call for the whole week. So we just kept on talking. And I'm like, let me let me just talk to him. So we texted about like random stuff. And Manan, my cousin's like, no, like, you never give guys a chance to, like, text you like that. It's like, what's going on? And I was like, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm chill, there's nothing. And then she would notice, like, when I would text him and I'd keep on checking if he replied or, like, I would get, like, all excited. And she would notice all these things that I was trying to, like, deny. I was like, no, I'm, I'm really, this is nothing. But she was like, no, you're obviously interested. And I was like, whoa, this is, like, a big deal. Point is, kept on talking. On my, uh, Ryan wanted to talk on the phone, and I was like, okay, this is my time. I should just tell him it's not going to work out. We go to, uh, I fly from Dubai to Turkey. He, like... Hold on, hold on. So, <laughs> are you guys, can you guys believe this? Like, she literally, she, we were texting, and she had the intention. First of all, uh, now being married to Noah, I know her very well. It's very hard for her to have difficult conversations at all. She just avoids them completely. So... You know, in her mind, she was literally gonna just talk to me until she got to New York and be like, hey, Ryan, it didn't really work out. On my, in my mind, I was like, wow, she's on board to talk to me. That means she's clearly interested. And obviously, you know, I talked to her uh, during that week and I had to overcome that whole mountain of her being like, listen, Ryan, you're a white boy. You're too young. It's not gonna work out. So I just wanted to put that out there. Yeah. And like... A th there was a lot of things about Ryan that I did like like for example my brother-in-law texted me his number and he was like Hey, Ryan's gonna text you within the next day or two. Just keep an eye out 
And when I saw that text, Ryan had texted me 30 minutes prior to Ahmad even sending me that text message. And he's like, hey, how's Bay? Like, how's Ryan? I was like, whoa. That's so how you gotta like, do really it. really quick. So anyways, um, I was very nervous. I wasn't sure how I felt about all of this. I got to New York and Ryan's like, let's have a phone call or actually FaceTime. let's just FaceTime. Yeah, I know. Actually, let's just FaceTime. I stuff my face with a big Philly cheesesteak, sit on the ground in New York, plug in my phone, and our first like voice interaction after three years is a FaceTime call. This guy is sitting in Boston with a nice coat, sitting with some fat squirrels in a park in like zero degree Fahrenheit weather. It was crazy. Like his hands are probably gonna fall off, but he was FaceTiming me and I got you guys. It was not awkward, like not one bit, right? Literally. Like, I was shocked. I just came out of an airplane, I went to the bathroom, put a little bit of makeup on, but yeah, I just woke up like this. And we literally like FaceTimed and it wasn't awkward. So that's when I mentioned to him the age issue. Age issue, um, And he was like, no, like I already thought about that. And let me just give you, give me a chance to show you that age won't be an issue. And I was like, you're right. And obviously the fact that I agreed after that, I was already like kind of interested in just trying to deny it in my head. Oh, yeah, my first FaceTime with Noha, it confirmed everything I was hoping for. You know, it wasn't awkward at all. And, uh, you know, we had a great conversation and, you know, we talked for a long time. I walked all over Boston, even though it was freezing. I wanted to show her, you know, the nature and the squirrels. And I also talk, I when I uh, am talking on the phone or FaceTime, I walk a lot. So it just worked out. So I walked all over the city. I think it was like a four hour FaceTime. It was a pretty long one. During um, my layover, yeah. But yeah, so then it kind of moved forward from there. So just to rewind for a second, while we were texting in Dubai, Ryan mentioned, just like briefly, he's like, so like, you're coming to Tampa for, I was going there for like two days before I went to Atlanta back where I live. So he's like, you're coming to Tampa, like, would you be interested in just like really casually meeting my parents? And I was like, what? You want me to meet your parents? Like, I barely know how to spell your last name and you want me to meet your parents. Like, I was shocked. I was like, this is crazy. And I would just reply with like, Oh, uh, Dubai is really awesome. You know, I had this really good meal yesterday and I would just change the subject constantly. And he's probably really annoyed. But I changed the subject. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, I'm not going to meet your parents. I literally just started talking to you and I felt like if I met his parents, then it would be more serious and it'd be harder for me to say no if I wasn't interested. So I was like, that's not happening. Yeah, so, uh, well, her, her, basically her dad was going to Tampa and her mom and her dad is it's very rare for him to get time off of work and to be in Tampa with his mom as well as her uh, her mom uh, as well as her brother was there so it was perfect right uh, obviously unfortunately I wouldn't be there but you know they would all be together and I wouldn't force it on her like that in the first week obviously but like her dad's never in Atlanta and so I mean Tampa so I wanted to make that happen and I would bring it up and she would like be the so annoying. She would be like, I'd be like, hey, so uh, I want to like organize like like make sure my dad's available, my mom and stuff. Like, can like my my parents just meet your parents real quick in a park and a whole big gathering? And she'd be like, oh Ryan, what's your favorite color? I like some <laughs> some BS like that. Not so, that question, but so it just really I was like, all right, I'll just let it slide brought it up again she's like what's your greatest fear in life i'm like are you kidding me like yo we need to organize this or else this is, I like we're not gonna get this Tampa. chance there's only one day i would yeah. have been so i needed to, to organize those two days well right so anyway we can tell who's the mature one in the relationship <laughs> okay so i'm i'm in like new york now halas like and i'm like halas i guess it would be a good idea to meet his parents because it clicked. I was like, first I was scared. I'm like, he wants me to meet his parents. But then I was like, wow, he must be really mature that he's already at the stage of like, I'm serious about you. I'm not gonna just like text you for like a little bit and then ditch you. Like, I want you to meet my parents. I wanna do this the right way. Like, it was very serious and I respected that after it all clicked and everything. So yeah, now we finished our FaceTime. It went well. I'm on my way to Tampa. I have. Oh yeah, this is a really funny part. I told my sister, I'm like, Noor, please tell mama and baba about Ryan since I'm in Dubai, I don't have really good internet connection. Just like, tell mama, like, because this all just happened all of a sudden, like, let her know what's going on with me. You know, I'm talking to this guy named Ryan. 
you know, because Ryan went through my sister and my brother-in-law, but he like he didn't know my parents, which makes sense. So I get back to Tampa. My brother, my parents, and Hannah, and my niece, they pick me up from the airport, and they're like, "Oh, how's everything?" I'm telling them about my trip, and I'm like, "So, have you guys like heard about Ryan?" You know, and they're like, "Ryan, who's Ryan?" <laughs> and I, was like, <laughs> I was like, "No, Nur didn't tell you guys." And they're like, no, what are you talking about? So I'm sitting there on the way back from the airport. And by the way, my parents are very chill, but they were like, who is this Ryan? Like, tell me more. So I tell them about him on the drive back. We get to Noor's house. My mom pulls out my laptop and she starts Ryan on Facebook, Ryan al Fallah. And um, she just has to stalk him. And her and my dad are sitting next to each other, like a cup of tea. They're stalking Ryan's Facebook. They find some really good articles. My dad's like, MashaAllah. He helped Her dad is MSA amazing, event. by the way. MashaAllah, you know, he, he, he did this. He won this basketball game, or he did this Islamic event, or went to MSA. And then my mom's like, funny, funny, not funny, nice shirt. Oh, and she saw him wearing Abdullah's, uh, his friend's doctor coat for a second. She's like, see a doctor? <laughs> and she knew I never wanted a doctor. It was a joke, I'm not a doctor. Yeah, it was a joke. I didn't want a doctor. It was a actually. prank. Um, but anyways, it was funny. It was a nice night. They got to know Ryan through Facebook. And I was like, so we're meeting him and his parents tomorrow. And they're like, what? <laughs> Imagine you guys, all of a sudden, I'm like, hey, there's a guy named Ryan. We've been talking for the past 10 days. He's pretty cool. He's two years younger than me. He's half white and we're meeting his parents tomorrow. Alhamdulillah salama, you know. Alhamdulillah salama. So, it was pretty crazy in our household. The next day, we go to a park with a bunch of my family and my family friends in Tampa. And I wasn't sure if Ryan's family was going or not. His parents. I wasn't sure if they were going. Um, but we went to the park and on the way there, uh, my mom or my sister, they t or my sister, she's like, yeah, they're coming. And I'm like, oh my God, like, this is crazy. This is a big deal. We get there. I meet Kathleen Sullivan and Khaled Al Falah. And oh my God, you guys, they are amazing. They were awesome. My dad and like Amu Khaled like talked. My mom and Kathleen talked. Um, everyone kind of found out that day because they were like, why is Besma not talking to anybody but Kathleen? And vice and same with my dad. Um, and then Reem, actually, my friend heard Kathleen and my mom talking about paper towels and olive oil and Reem came up to me and she's like, Noah, are you getting married? Because I heard you talking about paper, or your mom's talking about paper towels and olive oil and I know those are expensive and I only noticed them after I got married or something like that. So I actually didn't even get to tell Reem or anyone because it was so last minute my parents didn't even know. Anyways, that gathering went great. My parents loved his parents. It was awesome and like they were kind of already talking about kids, and I was like, hold up, like, slow down. Um, and Saad on Tariq, I know, they didn't know about this yet because it was so last minute, like I said. So they're going to be very sad when they see this part because they're going to be like, I didn't even know about Noah at the time. They knew that he was interested in me, but they didn't know that we had already met with his parents. And during this whole park situation, Ryan is in Boston, and he's, like, texting me. So, like, Noah, did you meet my mom? Did you meet my dad? Is everything good? Like, he's in Boston. He's not even at the park. And I met his parents before I saw him. So yeah, it was before crazy. she even met me. Well, I met you three years ago, but yeah, it was crazy. Okay, so, you know, after she met my parents, you know, obviously they both got really uh, along really well, which is really important that, you know, the families get along well together. So that was a great sign. My parents loved Naha. I think Naha loved my parents as I well. I did, I did. So, you know, we continued talking, but for me, like I said, I wanted to do things the right way, and I didn't want to get my emotions attached uh, if like there were certain things that I knew I couldn't live with so you know right when we started talking it was very serious it was very uh, you know talking about things that you know really mattered to me like deal breakers deal breakers yeah. like you know who's gonna like work or you know are we okay with you know a certain lifestyle you know how you know do you want kids like you know what type of life do you want to live those types of questions we asked each other in the beginning because if there was a red flag it was easy for me to just be like hey you know I don't think we're you know the best for each other uh, but after all that you know during that time we got all through most of those serious questions but we're continually act you know figuring out each other and getting to know each other every single day we're facetiming you know I would finish work I would go work out and then I would just you know uh, eat dinner and then I would FaceTime her before I go to sleep pretty every much every day. Every single day. Yeah. Every single day. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so that's for pretty a month. That was like a month long. That's pretty much what we did. But obviously, I needed to see her in person. Like I, all this time, I haven't even talked to her about this in person, and like I can't. It's so different virtually than in person and seeing her reactions. So. Oh yeah, what's something that really annoyed you during? Oh, uh, I couldn't <laughs> stand when she would cover, like she would get like nervous and shy, shy over sick. FaceTime, which I guess I can Certain kind times. of understand. But she would like cover her face, and I'll like, just like put the blanket over my face. Like, what are you and, like, doing? Put my hijab over my face. And I can't do anything about it. You can't do anything because I'm like, awesome. I swear to God, like, stop. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so yeah, so I obviously wanted to see her. So I booked a flight to Atlanta to visit her and her family all by myself, which is crazy. I'm literally staying at their house. My dad wanted completely by myself. So I don't even know if that's normal or not. Some people be like, "Yeah, that's fine," and other people are like, "He stayed at your house." No, it's not normal. This is not normal. My parents. I know it's not normal. Wanted him to stay at her house so they can get to know him better, like in like waking up, sleeping, like just to get to know him like the best. Okay. Also, yeah, I would Facetime her parents as well during that time and. I loved how casual they were. I loved how you know easygoing they were. It just showed that their personality, their character, their relationship with Islam, and Allah that they were trying to make this process easy, and they were very open to you know everything really. So you know they they walk, they would love they wanted me to stay at their home uh, for th for the whole weekend. So I thought it would be a good way for me to meet their par her parents as well as her. So yeah. Yeah, and like, yeah, during the FaceTime, I agreed with Ryan. I was like, Ryan, I don't want to get attached to you, like emotionally. I really want to get to the conversation. Obviously, we had normal conversation. We asked how each other were. We talked about traveling and all that stuff. But I was like, let us get through the deal breakers first so then I can know if it's even worth continuing. So literally, there, everything was like, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. It was good and it went smoothly. So every day we'd FaceTime. All that passed one month later. Okay, so Ryan lands in Atlanta. He has a three-day weekend with us. Three days of me to try to for sure get to know this person. But I already, in my heart, already knew that I was like pretty for sure about him because I asked myself, I was like, if this does not work out with Ryan, will I, will I be sad? And I definitely would have been. And I already fell at ease with him after making istikhara, talking to my parents, they loved him. So, he landed in Atlanta. We took him to like West Egg or West something, some breakfast place in Atlanta. West Elm? No, that's the furniture store. Furniture store, my bad. Um, and then we went and played football in Piedmont Park or Centennial Park, actually. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, so uh, the first time, obviously, like I'm talking to Noha, you know, every day. It's natural, but she was like so shy the first time I met her in person. Like, she wouldn't talk. I had to talk to her mom the whole time, and she, her mom was telling me <laughs> elephant jokes and stuff like that. And I was very quiet at the time. Uh, but she eventually, obviously, it, it takes time. It's definitely understandable. Uh, but you know, she eventually warmed up uh, throughout the time. Yeah. yeah. So I just wanted to mention that. Yeah, that was definitely the case. Um, but we played football in Centennial Park. We went biking together. Um, okay. So yes. So <laughs> this is what also what I wanted to mention. So my mindset about you know, going into this weekend. So, you know, I've been talking to Noha for this amount of time, you know, for a month and a half, and we got done with the serious stuff. So, you know, in my head, I'm like, well, I need to meet her in person and just confirm everything that I thought was true, as well as I did want to talk about a few other things, specifically, like, if we did have a wedding, what it would look like, that type of thing, and, and revisit a lot of things we talked about over FaceTime in person to see her reaction. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. Yeah. So, um, first time I met him, I was wearing like sweatpants, like leggings and like a workout shirt. Like it was very casual. Didn't want to overdo it. Played football, we biked, we chilled, we went back to, well, this is all with my mom. And we went back to our house. And the weekend was really nice. Like we just, we got to know each other. Hold on. So, so yeah. What kind of girl would literally meet her like potential husband for the first time and literally pick him up from the airport like go play football i love you know i love I mean? throwing football that's it. play <laughs> football and like ride bikes in the city like that just showed so much that like she was so fine and outgoing and comfortable in her own skin and confident so all those things was a big deal for me you know what i mean so like most girls would never do that so i was like 
check check that off right there. So check. You can, you can continue. Yeah. So um. Yeah, we had like we went all around Atlanta. Um, <laughs> actually, you should mention the story that when we went to Rumi Cub, it's a really good restaurant in Atlanta, and oh, okay. my mom I can asked you a question. Go ahead. <laughs> No, so I, yeah, it was it was the first time for me even meeting uh, her parents as well and her dad. Her dad just got off of work and, you know, obviously he's potentially my future father-in-law and it's like, you know, everyone scares you for your future father-in-law. Alhamdulillah, I'm so blessed that he is like literally an angel uh, that raised Noha and uh, he's, he's such an amazing person. So I was, you know, speaking with him and then... I asked him, I was like, Amo, what type of, you know, man would you want your daughter to marry, right? And I was trying to figure out what he was looking for. And, you know, I was, I was talking to him and then her mom was like, we want someone who's always thinking about the Muslim Ummah. It's always on their mind, the Muslim Ummah. I was like, oh man, such a personality, mashallah. It was funny. She yeah. just like, she just stole the, just... stole the, but then like, after Besma, like, like, Finally, Amar Ahmed was able to speak, and uh, he was like, "Oh, we just want someone with the day in, like with religious. No, he wants someone that like his heart is with God. Like my dad's not the type that like he doesn't care how the guy is. He just wants him to be kind and a good Muslim, and that someone that will treat me well and love me. Like he doesn't care for like he has to be doctor, he has to be Egyptian, he has to be from your bella. Thank from God. Whatever. He's very like." That's how they used in the prophets' time. They used to do like that. They used to just. It's you're not supposed to like decline anyone for those kind of reasons. But go on. Yeah. So I was very grateful that there was nothing like I didn't have to be a doctor, or dentist, those types of things. I didn't have to be from a certain street. I shut out this on this village. We got through a lot of the major discussions uh, while we were FaceTiming, but there was one discussion that whenever it was brought up while we were FaceTiming, I was like, no, 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 let's not discuss it. I want to talk about this in person. And that was uh, person. That was... This uh, is like, how you say it. In person. <laughs> All right. Payback. Uh, that was the wedding, right? So for me, okay, ideally, for me, I just... I always saw a certain, uh, you know, people like spend a lot of money on weddings and that's just something that I never wanted to do or start their life in debt uh, because of one night. So for me, I, I wanted to use my wedding either to like help those in need somehow and raise money somehow or save that money and, you know, travel and, you know, because I would rather not start my life out in debt and also, you know, rather use my money in that way so obviously i'm not dumb like i know a lot of girls would love a great big wedding and honestly i was okay with that but ideally that that those were the type of things i was looking for for like someone if they would accept that that would be you know the perfect thing in the world but if they wanted a big wedding and like they're amazing like Noah was then you know i would be fine with it so yeah that's something i just wanted to discuss in person to see her reaction and stuff so yeah, I never cared for a big wedding. Um, never was like something I wanted, and I also wanted to use that money to travel or put a down payment on a house or whatever the case was. So that's a whole other video we can do. But yeah, I just we talked about that in person, and that's for Ryan. And right? I was like, holy <laughs> crap! Like, not only is she amazing, but she's like. And not only is she okay with it, she like wants, she's like, hell yeah, I want to go travel. And, you know, we don't need to have a big wedding and it doesn't make sense. And for a girl to say that, it's very rare. And I was like, there we go. That's, that's pretty much makes the deal right there. So pretty much after that, I was like, okay, like, no, I was like, there's really nothing really to, uh, say bad about Noha and so yeah that you know is very rare for girls in this day and age so that pretty much you know sealed the deal for me for Noha pretty much and you know I just needed to talk to her you know a bit more but I was pretty much you know already committed to her at that so like point. that weekend when he came over it was a three-day weekend actually his flight got canceled um there was a on snow the last storm. day a snowstorm in Boston so he couldn't go back, he stayed an extra day, which was awesome. I thought that was definitely a sign from God. And I had to go to class because it was Monday, I came back and him and my mom were all talking and stuff. But anyways, that weekend for us was like, uh, like a marker for us to say, okay, are we gonna continue talking or are we not? We had a month to talk over FaceTime, we had a weekend to see each other in person, 
is this going to continue or is this going to be like, okay, like that's it. We're not going to talk anymore. We'll go our separate ways. And obviously for both of us, as you guys can tell, we have our wedding rings. It worked out. We decided we wanted to continue talking and get married. Um, it, was, it happened a lot quicker than we thought. A lot quicker. Till now, I'm like, who are you and why are you Same. in my bed? I'm like, like, you're my husband. Like, I bye. just met you. Yeah, it's really weird. But subhanAllah. So yeah, that weekend um, was great. It went well. Going further, we continue talking. He's in Boston, I'm in Atlanta. Uh, kept in touch with his family. So that's our story on how we met. I know when I mentioned our age difference on Instagram, um, like a lot of people were like, I'm now going to reach out to that person that was interested in me. And I said no to because he was younger. So I hope this inspires you in any possible way to do whatever you need to do. But inshallah, this was an inspiration and keep us in your thoughts. And yeah, three years married. This is our third year anniversary just passed. So this is us after three years. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that subscribe <laughs> button, bro. Smash it. Always wanted to say that on YouTube. Now I'm finally saying it. Smash it right there. Just hit it. There we go. It's over.